Silver cross necklace. So who does this belong to? Yeah, I saw him on TV, but whatever. I say, leave science to the eggheads and leave real work to people like me. I know how the world works just fine already, thanks. He was like a kid brother to me. A good man who stood by his principles. I sponsored and supported him. But when the truth came out, well, I can't do good work if I'm not in office. And my constituents made themselves very clear. She confided in me that she intends to go public. I reminded her she signed an NDA months ago. But what am I gonna do? Sue a grieving mother. Oh, the teacher's daughter was in an experimental trial he conducted. These results don't look promising. Very good, that's one. You can always take it out and change your mind. Two suspects. If you're confident, approach the exit to see if you're right. Or you can still change your mind. Well done, Madeline. Your deduction was flawless. Now proceed to the waiting room. This will come in handy. So what was the point of all this? It was just a game? Nothing is just a game, Madeline. In fact, this is the kind of prejudice and persecution scientists face every day. You know that better than anyone. Subtlety really isn't your strong point, is it? Rest now. Your next trial will begin soon. Like I've got time for this. Well, let's get it over with. Damn it, it's been a whole month since the accident. How hard can it be? Pillar trial room. A look on Anton's face when I set this up for him. server or something? Maybe I should grab a portable drive from tech support while I'm here and archive this pin feather data. Not like Dr. Stone's going anywhere.
I remember Anton went head over heels, third candidate in as many months. Well, that was the final straw before they closed this one down. Fun stuff. Can't believe it's still connected. up this corridor. I'm way too busy to go to the trial party. What's your excuse? My own trials just about traumatized me. Well, you know, secret lab. They can't just let people walk in. Yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes I can't believe I made it through. Look, just be happy. It's one and done, right? Keep your voice down. Don't want the director getting ideas. I don't want to get stuck in conversation unless I have to. Yeah, must be a server connection. Definitely worth getting the data off this headset. Nakamura. Perfect. Oh. Hi, Cal. Thought you'd be at the trial party. I wanted you to test the memo headset there. I know. Sorry. Work, 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 right? You know how it is. Sure, I do. Oh, so, yeah, it was the memo I wanted to ask about, kind of. I need a portable drive to download the headset data. Okay, well, put in the usual request and I'll assign one tomorrow. I need it today. Uh, now, in fact. <laughs> and you know I can't do that. Security would have my ass. Come on, you've got a hundred other things in there. And they're all properly assigned, so nobody can remove them from the facility? Look, Cal, I'm sorry things didn't work out, but you can't expect me. I've gotta go. I've been waiting on this call since before lunch. Submit a request. I'll get you a drive first thing. Shit. Okay, Cal, think. What's plan B? Get Jen out of her office. How do we do that? No idea, but there's got to be something around here. Trial Control 5C. But the good doctor's trial can wait till I've got that portable drive. Chavez through there, working on the fourth trial. Don't want to disturb her. Let's see what we got. So Whitlow needed skin grafts after Tanner's pyro experiments went boom. No wonder he tried to get her kicked out.
potassium chlorate, sugar, and sulfuric acid. Hmm, hell of a recipe for a fireball. Let's see what's on here. Damn straight, Anton, you tell her. Yeah, I bet Tanner's fire experiment would put excessive strain on the aircon. Just need to figure out the best place to replicate it. I'll take the potassium chlorate, thanks. I still need to get sugar. And sulfuric acid. Someone tidied the rec room. <laughs> that makes a change. Sweet, sweet sugar. I still need to get sulfuric acid. Doesn't anybody log off anymore? This place. I didn't sit in on this one. Maybe I should check out what they have in store for Dr. Stone. Salima's lab. She's completely focused on her multi-spectrum antiseptic project. sulfuric acid. Nothing I can use for Tanner's experiment. Sulfuric acid. Well, that'll do nicely. That's all the chemicals. Now I just need to find somewhere to replicate Tanner's experiment. That's a lot of money. I guess if you're rich enough, you figure you can buy extra life, no matter how unethical the treatment. And the director hasn't made a decision yet. Perfect. I can create Tanner's fireball in here. sugar. And that's the potassium chlorate. All right, Maria. Let's make some fire. Time to let Maria do her thing. Okay. Switch Maria on and let her add the acid. D 
decontam. Smell those chemicals. Here we go. Yep, that's burning all right. There goes the aircon. Attention, system malfunction. The air conditioning system has suffered overload and ceased operation. Would Jen Nakamura please report to General Maintenance to assist with repairs? Thank you. For God's sake, again? And there goes Nakamura. Okay, with Jen gone, I can get a drive from her office and back up the headset. Sorry, Jen, but I really need that portable hard drive. Gotcha. Open sesame. The great Madeline Stone. The director does love a troubled genius. The great Madeline Stone. The director does love a troubled genius. Make them find their way with night vision, they said. So many broken bones and missing teeth. Yeah, this looks like a good setup for her. Banquet's always fun with candidates who feel wronged. I wonder what her secret's gonna be in Family Matters. <laughs> Abduction plans for Dr. Stone. The old black bag at the front door. Reminds me of the night they grabbed me. Jen keep the portable drives. All right, headset connected. Now to find a drive. Who says IT isn't action-packed and exciting? Gotcha. Sorry, Jen. I can't let you properly assign this one. It's got a date with the CDC. Now, where's the nearest USB dock? Hey, Jen. It's Anton. Look, it's none of my business, but I wish you and Cal would patch things up. He's been real down for a while now, and he won't say it, but I know it's because he broke up. Maybe if you could do him a favor now and again, he might lighten up. Just saying. Now, start the data transfer. Let's see. Okay, this could take a while. Come on, come on. Who, me? Hmm, oh, just making a backup. No, oh, of course I'm not taking it outside. That'd be against every rule we have. Trial, requisition, transport, and a one-way ticket to the CDC. Hmm. 
Okay, back to the control room and then call Chavez. She's doing great. Right on track for an offer. Dr. Chavez. It's Cal. Sorry, I'm a little late. Maintenance are blocking off corridors everywhere. Had to go all the way through experimental physics. Why didn't you cut through the old pillar trial room? It only adds a couple of minutes. Oh, really? Well, live and learn. Anyway, I'm here now. Yes, I can see you. The outbreak session is all prepared. The parameters are identical to when you ran it for Dr. Ruiz. You shouldn't have any trouble. She's waiting for you to summon her through. Please call me when it's done. Will do. See you later. I reckon I won't need those. I should get this trial started. Candidate 0961 Patel, activity log 305. 961 has restarted for the third time. She clearly comprehends the nature of this task, but is taking a measured approach. This fits with the behavior exhibited thus far. Ah, outbreak. I like this one. Dr. Stone, my apologies for the delay. Your next trial awaits. Dr. Stone, my apologies for the delay. Your next trial awaits. Are you coming down with a cold, Dr. Chavez? You sound rather hoarse. Very droll. My colleague is busy preparing something special for you, so I'm going to conduct this one. You can call me Cal. You're not a doctor? We're all doctors here, Madeline. It starts to lose its meaning after a while. Tell me more about that. What's it like working here? Like nothing you can imagine. Vast resources, almost complete autonomy zero regulatory oversight, and all alongside the world's best and brightest mavericks. That sounds like rather a double-edged sword. What happens if one of you goes rogue? Everyone must answer that in their own way. We're all on the same path, Madeline, just standing at different points. Now, shall we begin? Well, I am going to need a new stereo in the apartment after I finish unpacking. Good lord. Is the chasm really necessary? Was solid ground too expensive? On the contrary. This facility is literally carved into subterranean rock and costs billions. But we do enjoy a little theater now and again. <clears throat> As you know, due to excessive application of antibiotics in both healthcare and agriculture, treatment-resistant bacteria are increasingly common. In this scenario, one such pathogen has become a global pandemic, causing sickness and death. Luckily, a new treatment has been discovered, and you are in charge of the team using it to contain the outbreak. You must allocate annual assignments to your staff over a period of five years. You can either send them to affected regions to reduce the number of infections, or they can conduct research increasing your ability to reduce infection rates. You can change your mind as often as you like until you pull the action lever. When you do, your choices will be calculated, and the map will update to show the results for that year. Your goal is to keep the death rate below acceptable losses in each region. Failure will end the simulation, and you will have to retry. When you're ready to begin, pull the action lever. This will send already trained staff to the affected region. Uh, you have 
haven't started yet, Dr. Stone. Pull the lever first. That region's now infection-free. Those staff will be more use somewhere else. That region's now infection-free. Those staff will be more use somewhere else. That region's now infection-free. Those staff will be more use somewhere else. Goodness, an undo button. So if I want to change my mind, I do it here. now infection free those staff will be more use somewhere else so this will help my staff reduce the infection rate when i send them to affected regions Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. <laughs> <laughs> 